Tom Daneman here again. And today we're going to be working on the garage floor because I have an issue where water keeps pooling up and it's not making it to my tough tight drain. So we need to fix that problem. When they poured the floor they didn't correctly slope everything to the drain and I'm getting pooling water in, in certain areas of the garage floor. I'm not sure if you can see here, the light doesn't show it very well, but the water's pooled there and it's pooling right here. Today we're going to fix that problem hopefully, so let's get at it. Here's the plan on how to fix this problem. I've got myself here just a little grinder and on it is a masonry wheel and basically all we're going to do is just cut a bit of a notch in the cement right here and here um, to hopefully get the water to flow through that notch. And I think I also might open these up just a little bit too to give a bit better flow and I may do this this part here we do this one here as well. Okay, here's the result so far. So I carved a groove and I extended this groove uh, on all four corners and carved a groove here. Now, I sprayed water and I didn't squeegee after and all of these three areas are dry. However, I still have an issue here. So I had extended this groove to here and what I think I might do is just make it a little bit deeper to attract the water towards the drain there. So let's do it again. Okay, it's been probably an hour and a half since I watered down the floor. I didn't squeegee or anything after I did that, and I say we have success. It's hard to tell, maybe in the light, but no pooled up water there, no pooled up water there. So I think that is great. So basically, you can see I had to extend this line here further up because there's a low spot in the floor. I had to switch to my phone camera here because my GoPro was giving me a hassle for some reason. So basically there's a low spot in the floor right here. So I extended the, the grind in the, in the cement probably by about three feet and really now the water is flowing through that little trough and making it to the drain here. And it was a high spot right there so I chipped out a bit of the cement there. So it doesn't look that great right now as far as the cuts in the cement but I think what I will be able to do in the spring when I repaint the floors just kind of make that look a little tidier but uh, for some reason the uh, tough tight is just slightly higher than it needs to be in the cement I would placed a, a level across that area there and it was perfectly level having it level does not uh, work well with drainage obviously and by trimming out in the corners of the, uh, the lines that they had cut previous when the floor was first poured, I just uh, provide a little bit better drainage uh, from those four corners as well. So another successful day when it comes to doing a bit of a DIY work on the cement floor here. So I'm happy with that. We've got good drainage back to the drain again. So um, no more tiptoeing through puddles when the uh, the vehicles drop snow on the ground and uh, then it melts a little bit because I do heat the garage so that 
melting is just kind of a constant thing and you get a little bit tired of, of uh, tracking through water all the time. That's it for this edition of Mundane Man. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe below. And if you think your friends would find this type of stuff interesting, maybe share the videos with them as well. And uh, stay tuned for more videos coming up because I have lots more planned. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.